Jennifer Simonetti Bryan with Great Wine News, and today we're going to talk about balance. Balance is one of the most important quality parameters to talk about. It's the one that so many critics really use as their metric for quality. So it's good to know. Last time I asked you to get a Pinot Grigio, a lemon, and some vodka. But why? We're going to do a component tasting. In the trade, we, use, we do component tastings um, to improve our skills and improve our palates on a wine's structural components. I know as Americans we like to talk about flavors and aromas a lot, so is it red cherries or is it red raspberries? But, but really um, the importance of balance is structural components and how they interact and that's how you can tell. So a wine structure, it's acid, it's weight, it's alcohol, um, and for red wine it's tannin, sometimes sweetness, so all of those interplay with one another uh, to get you balanced. But this is how you can kind of train your palate. In this first glass that I have here, I have just plain Pinot Grigio, right? You may want to mark this glass because it's nothing done to it, it's just plain Pinot Grigio. That's your control glass. And why do we use Pinot Grigio? Pinot Grigio in the bell curve of wine, uh, it's kind of smack in the middle. It's got medium weight, medium acid, uh, medium alcohol, medium concentration, medium kind of everything, which is the reason why it's such a, a crowd pleaser. So it's a good one to do this test because what we're doing is we're manipulating some of those components in order to make it stand out so your palate notices it. So the second glass, you want to pour the Pinot Grigio, but you also want to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. How much? Well, it's going to depend on your palate. You want to start with just maybe a few drops and see if you can notice the acid more than the first glass. So if you don't notice it right away, add a few more drops of lemon juice until you notice it on your palate. So this is going to train you to understand how acid interacts with your palate. The third glass we have here is uh, we added a little bit of vodka to it. And what vodka does, it raises the alcohol level of wine. And how we feel alcohol on your palate, you're going to feel it in two ways. One, you're going to feel a heat on your back palate. So as you swallow it, you're going to feel that heat there. But you're also going to feel an increased weight because wines with more alcohol generally are, uh, are weightier and have more body. So this is our component tasting. Go back and forth between them until you can taste it on your palate and you'll get a really good idea about, about structure. Now that we know about structure, how they interact with one another is the key to balance. Because if it's stuck out like a sore thumb in any one of these, that means it's out of balance. And why we look at this is to make balance a bit more objective, because we can physically quantify these things. So the only thing is, though, is that it can be a little bit tricky. And for our next video, we're going to talk about how balance can be a little bit subjective. And I'm going to play my own devil's advocate. But until next time, thank you for watching Great Wine News, and cheers.